G'day and welcome back to our Lord of War campaign in Heartspine 4. So I've just uh, queued up a stack of building. Um, plenty and plenty and plenty of it. It'll be fun if we actually make it that far. And I was looking, at the moment we're actually able to outproduce uh, Japan because we've got 107 military factories, 53 civilian. He's only got about 40 um, military and you know, 45 maybe civilian. So we're at that point. We've stolen enough from them. They must have been actually building up China for us, which was nice of them. Um, we need to grab some of these guys to push in there. Alright, the counteroffensive through here should now be doable. They'll hopefully just die soon. And we're hitting more of these that we need to delete. I know just straight out deleting it's not the best way, but at least then we can see when everyone's been deleted off. So, <clears throat> let's go maybe there to there, moving this way. Alright. Bone encirclement there is good. This guy is done. Let's just push these, push these guys down. Alright, we should probably should have been looking at some point. Where do you think you're going? Alright, whatever. Um, should have been using our command power to do force attacks and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, not the office plan. Not enough command power. Yeah. Oh. Mm, don't like our chance of winning this one. So these guys are weak and theirs are going to be pretty strong. I wonder if these guys want to walk away. We'll take that. these blues to do anything. There's that army. Alright, they can get moving. <clears throat> this nice looking encirclement up here. Push through. You need to... Well, it's a river crossing, unfortunately. Alright, whatever they can manage. Um, they're finished, so... Something like that. These guys should feel free to just wander down before the Brits can. Alright, better SIGs, get better recon. Alright, those shouldn't take too long. So, back in the north. Looks like we're failing to take Korea. It is, yeah, mostly going to be these guys trying to push out. It wasn't the best idea, but I um, don't really want to turn it off just in case. Alright. <clears throat> Grab them. Can push through with some of these guys. Uh, not so much them, unless we can get them out of the way. We have some guys up here that I think they might know what to do. Alright, and they're still trying to push north. What about the Germans? They are getting around the corner there. They've taken Sevastopol. It's looking good. Yeah, Stalingrad and Leningrad. <clears throat> we could really bog them down if we went to uh, the other side of Asia to defend the Soviets. Um, that was the other thing I did during the break. Realised that we don't need to use convoys now because we've got the uh, land border with the Soviets. So we can get pretty much everything we want here. Probably a good idea to grab this last one while no one else can. There we go. Push a little over. Ditto there. That's fine. Or it's all coming from the Soviets. Okay. Yeah, because of this hard push. <coughs> That's still only 60 days. I guess our production is so ridiculously high now, it's actually going to be okay. Alright, they came back through at some point. Get over there. Uh, this guy. Cut them off. Alright. A 
few more here that don't really work anymore. And if we grab guys like this that have been left behind, just tell them to run this way. Alright, Canada wants to send us support equipment and stuff. We don't have enough convoys for that. Right, let's try and get that river crossing done. Uh, what province is this they're fighting over? Laos and Tonkin. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We're probably going to be losing this in the uh, peace deal anyway. Right, down there, this guy just needs to try and cut that off. They are actually getting pretty wrecked too, so let's stop again for a while. And these guys who were all the way up there. Give them a crack at getting ready for that. Alright, infantry equipment. Uh, 44, not 46. Alright, we've got other things we need to do. <laughs> going, going, going. Go SIGs. Okay. So our other problem is these guys are still trying to push out. That needs to stop. Uh, no, no, no. Alright, not taking them. Keep trying to push into some of these, maybe. Don't actually care about that section. Or that one. Coast we do. Alright, so, somehow they got through. We'll push up here. Hmm. Alright, he'll go back one. That's okay, I guess. Uh, that's not going to work for us, but we can push. So, yeah, we just need this one. And these three. And now, guys, we'll be happy to defend the coastline. Alright, walk through them. Oh, here we go. squeeze through there, but plenty of these guys are already trying to do it. <coughs> Alright, what's going on here? It's going to be a pretty clear failure. Alright, keep doing there, wandering around. Check back on the south every now and then, since it's a bit more of a race against the English. Let's try to throw some guys down here. Kind of spread out a bit. Take this tip. We can really start pushing up. Start shortening the line. Alright, focus on China. Exploit the weak neighbours. Should I somehow exist? No. Shanji Yan state exists. Get annex on them. Infiltration unlocks infiltrate nationalist areas decisions. Pretty sure I've already done that. Maximum command power increase and unlocks good stuff down there. So let's go there. And as soon as he leaves, we have to walk in behind him. Straight there. These guys can just wander in. Oh, there's nothing even in that one. Alright, hurry up. Okay. Oh, that's the thing. They're not at war with uh, Cyan. 
They're only at war with Japan. Okay. Many guys sitting around there for no reason. Alright, that was a bit of a failure. He's landing guys by ship. Hmm. Okay, they want to move on. Be happy to kill him. So we're okay, I'm pushing these guys back now. So let's go like this and go directly in. Another peak at the north. Exile divisions, yep, yeah, we know about that. Get out of there. to the north. Don't want to have to get all our guys up to Siberia. And we've got a guy locked in here. Uh, quickest way out. Probably not attacking them. Let's grab everybody here. No, no, no. Okay. Start this guy trying to walk over there. <coughs> Passing down the line. And... Got a couple of guys up here. Alright. Back to the south. It's a little bit of a failure if we can't push harder. That's looking good. <clears throat> Alright, I doubt we can sneak into Bangkok. We'll give it a go. Let's move in. Move over. Uh, let's come down and then. It should work a little better. Alright, now. <laughs> Still Japan for a little bit. But then we can go and cut the rest of them off. Okay. Up to twenty four percent. and flat across there now. Uh, these guys. Yeah, looking alright, even though he's about to drop out. Hmm. You need them to break their line again. Ooh, nice. Try and sneak around there. These guys should go do some damage. Can sneak in on this side first. A little undefended there. Still failure getting across this. Um, yeah, they need to do that though. Alright, Black Army. It's looking doing 66 worth, so we can't add anything. These guys are doing 25 worth. Sneaking further down. You know what? Let's do this. 49, 43, 51, 61, 69. Sounds good for them. And then these guys don't need to do these anymore. 
All right, so from there, around here, and down there. I'll take 52. Okay. And better entrenchment. <laughs> and we've cut off the English now, so no, they are actually starting to head in. Damn. Uh, yeah, you go for it. This army. Just tell everyone to go except for these guys on the far end and these guys. <coughs> yeah, thought that was a pushback. Uh, let's turn around. Hmm, you know what we'll do is we'll wait for command power and then send these guys off. <laughs> Alright, getting a good pushback here. This guy helps. Be a good little counter offensive on this. Alright, maybe simply because it looks like planes. Try that. Uh, seven guys here. So uh, three and four. Two in there. That should be an easy one. He's got nothing. And should be a victory there. So it might not all go green, but most of it will. Failure across the river. Do that before they leave. <coughs> Alright, looks very green. Come back and check that in a minute. He's pushed out of here again. Alright, go cut him off. And you know what? So when we get over here. So we can turn all these guys around. Okay. Otherwise, some free provinces are on the move. Uh, Blue army would be this one. Three guys there. Okay. Uh, stop them moving out. These guys are heading down. Yeah, go directly there. Alright, I like seeing the red. Let's go up here and see some green. Now we're defending. Well, that's not good. Why does he feel okay to attack us? bits and pieces around there. These guys... We're going to end up having to do this whole freaking bit. <coughs> Which means we're going to knock out Siam. It's a little weird though. Pretty sure they're not at war with Siam. Let's see... This one. Yeah, Siam's not at war with them. So how are they moving through... I must have been Japanese, I was pretty sure that was Siamese. I don't know, yeah, fine. Alright, um, get rid of these ones again. Ooh, that's terrible down there. Let's get them out of the supply zone. Oh god, the supplies here are ridiculous. Okay. Surely you can figure this out. Alright. He has no help. These guys should be easy enough. Let's get started on them. Gotta cut off one of these and they'll have no supplies. 
And he's pushing out from this freaking port in Saigon. Turn into the Vietnam War, this one. Yeah. Can't do it. It's got too much there. Just throw what we have at the blob and then try and keep them contained. Gonna need to reset these armies at some point because it's such a mess. Okay, guys, I tell you, get the hell out of there. No, have to do this now. Alright. You delete. These guys are in here as well. Let's delete those. <coughs> and we got the whole blue army mess going on. Uh, this is going to get worse after we do this. What is... Oh, these guys. Okay. And delete all of those. So, we'll put some... The weakest guys. Just trying to defend around Saigon. The blue army... Should be mostly up here. Let's just bring them down to this little bit. Alright, them and... Them. And we're pretty much done. So they can start, they can start, they can start. No, they have to stay. They can start, and then get these guys out. Looking to head around there. These guys are already here. And red guys are already on. Alright, so that should be okay. Really need to reconfigure these armies though. South force, north force. Um, let's look at... A new army group. It's the defenders. South Force includes both of these, right? Alright, we are managing to move in a little, so <coughs> let's just generally pull down this way. Alright, he's looking good. They're getting pushed back. While you're here, should be able to just do this. Alright, so they're already sorted. And do we have anybody free for this lot? Nope. This is only just starting to come back. <coughs> okay. So, once these guys arrive, I feel a lot better. Don't care if they blob out a little bit like that. It's actually quite fine. Let's move these guys straight over there as well. They are... You know what? Let's grab this guy. Put him in a new theatre. Um, why are you still showing? There we go. Alright, and... These guys are finished. So they'll come in. Supply problems. Alright, we have another encirclement over here that we're not really doing anything with. <coughs> well, wait for him to lose supply. And the Russians might do something. <laughs> and. They are not provoking Japan. Organization regain division attack on core territory plus 20%. Right. Division defense on core territory. A bit late for them. Production cost for infantry weapons. Or. Yeah, no, we need to go this way. No, we don't want the defense. We just want the uh, production cost reduction. Let's head that way. And Moscow's gonna fall. Damn it. Don't mind if they capitulate, but they've. <coughs> Got to wait until we've surrounded Japan. <coughs> hmm. Look, 
could be nasty if we have to go chasing Japanese all through the Soviet Union. Damn it. And Moscow's fallen. Alright, need to get free all these guys up. So, let's get all of them pushing in. Do any upgrades? Should be able to by now. This guy. Yu Chan. Uh, fort attack or equipment capture ratio gain. Infantry division attack straight out. Yes, be an infantry expert. That was one of those guys doing Siam. This guy's level 3. Recombine while entrenched. I think we just want better attack because we're not going to spend long entrenched. And over in the other one, everyone wants to do stuff. Alright, field marshal. Logistics wizard for reduced supply consumption. That definitely sounds like a good idea. Yep. Then we have imagery expert. Ooh, a few options with Zhu Peng. He's not very good at the planning, is he? Supply consumption. Imagery expert. Not allowed. We would want to go... Um, Probably defensive doctrine after that, anyway. <coughs> Alright. Not allowed to choose any more. Must I oh, yeah. Command power. <coughs> Alright, it's going to be hard to take this, because my guys kind of suck at the moment. You can get little bits occasionally, until these guys get freed up. 24 is... These guys. Alright, terrible supply. But we have taken Bangkok. And we are still moving through, so there's that. And which army would that be? These guys. Alright, they'll also need one to move down there once they're done. Alright, looks like there's not many guys left over there. This is the bigger issue. And how many Japanese divisions are actually left? Still a hell of a lot. <coughs> They've rejoined this. Well, that's not cool. Okay. We'll deal with them. I guess they do have a lot of divisions up here. Push back across the river. Cheeky sod. Well, take one of these guys out. Oh, three military factories. Okay, um, I was thinking of going up to, say, 40. Maybe 20 and 20. A lot more steel. Um, rubber. Not so important because we're getting some of our own now, I guess. <coughs> and we still need to switch over the proper infantry equipment, but we need numbers more than we need quality. Uh, 26 days. We're almost in a good spot here to actually be able to start making more men with our 52 million people waiting for guns. problem is that Soviet Union is going to capitulate before we're ready. Greater Hungary. Alright, that's going to be super annoying. Um, we've got to free these guys up though. And that is proving more difficult than we'd like. Although, we've gotten this so there should be no supplies left. Okay, and we're actually winning this. This is a free up. Well, a few guys. And we've researched nuclear reactors. Right, definitely need to start researching nuclear bombs. 
And we need to actually focus on doing nuclear reactors. From top of the list. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to start with. And we do two at a time. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Nine, nine, what? Eight months each. <laughs> so two in eight months. Four, six. We should have more than half a dozen ready by the time the uh, tech's done. Problem that's going to be, we also need to research the planes to drop the nukes from. And we broke our line here. Damn it. Alright, so um, try and push them down there. It's these 24 here. Okay. <coughs> hmm. They're still a bit broken here. Having trouble realizing that's not the same thing. Just leave them to that. And then these 24 we need to cover everything there. Alright, that's fixed it. Push hard. Just get in there. <coughs> Alright, and Black Army is... Gonna try to move down there. Let's leave them as they are. These guys just don't want to move into the next province. That's actually good for us at the moment. Alright. Take Saigon. The rest of this will be easy enough. Alright, they're moving out. Look at that defence. These ho hai Shadan. Really hate fighting them. Alright, it's 44. Signal company. Oh, we've got one more to do. When the rest of them start finishing, we can look at doing some planes. Possibly even some tanks. Some of these guys are getting knocked down a little bit. Not nearly enough. Let's grab... Something like this. And we did get across. So, throw these guys at it. Just want to get them over. Alright, this should hopefully sidetrack them enough. It's a little rough. I like that some of these are generally weak. Still many who are not. Alright. Well, let's get involved. It's a tiny little province here. Hulundu. Alright, little bits there we can do. <coughs> yeah, I'm starting to run down here nicely. I don't think he has many guys on this side. I think most of them got stuck up here. Without supplies, which is good, so that should be easy. Over here, you now get an encirclement bonus, and he's not in the port. So, push harder. Most of our guys are defending, so it'll take a while. Some of these don't understand, they're not doing that anymore. Harder, ah, yeah. Just tell them to stop. <laughs> mm. They'll get it eventually, because they're going to keep losing their organisation. Alright, Siam's in a couple of bits. No, you don't. Go get Chiang Mai. Push these guys out. Push them out of there. These guys are already coming up. 
I'm all good. They're all moving back to places that can't actually go. So there goes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten divisions. I want these guys to hurry up. All right, that's done. So we need to run way over here. There to there. Um, just point out they should do strategic redeployment. These guys will be finished pretty soon. There's not actually much still going on there. I'm getting the overruns pretty quickly. Just need somebody to run. There we go. Siam's capitulated. <coughs> and we got a bunch of stuff out of it too. So as long as we can kill these guys. Uh, these guys have freed themselves. Good. We can... Go from here to here, moving over there, strategically redeploy. <coughs> Just make sure there's no surprises down here. Alright, got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, War in the South is done. So, I would like these guys somewhere in the middle. <coughs> like that. Strategically redeploy. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Alright, and then how close are the Soviets to actual capitulation? 37. Holding Leningrad. I've lost Stalingrad. So it's all going to be about Leningrad. Can we take out the Japanese before Leningrad falls? And can we prevent them from getting men over here? Alright, the Black Army. <coughs> With garrison area, we don't care so much about any of this anymore. Just defend all this freaking coastline that needs 77. So I can't do this one. 72. Forget about that. So that'll take 65. That's perfect. These guys need to garrison down here as well now. Take 73. But if we turn off some of these, they take 66. It's as far as they need. If they do this bit as well, that's 73. All right. Let's just ignore that bit. Alright, expeditionary force request from Mongolia. No. Uh, and this from Canada. I mean, that would be free, so sure. And the People's War. Infantry weapon, production cost, reduction. The last thing that we're negative on. For 10 days. Okay. These guys are standing here. Let's get them started if they feel confident. <coughs> Down here, they're less confident because of vision still preparing. Yeah, some of them are. Get them going. And these guys are still preparing. Yeah, it's okay. I think at some point we're going to have to just do this. Not oh, artillery, the other one. Uh, infantry equipment, three. <coughs> that's 20 days, so that's not bad. Alright. Um, have we actually given them any orders for where to go? Not particularly.
Which one are these? They're the ones we put in the middle. Alright, so they have that one. <coughs> now, supplies will be something of a nightmare as everyone arrives. God, that's a bit of a shortage. Can't even ask for any more from them. Uh, probably shouldn't have bothered the Canadians then. The Raj, you get for free-ish. Alright, I think we're okay. We want to keep the civilian factories. And decisions are available. War propaganda against the Soviet Union. Which is propaganda efforts. So this is about getting... Weekly war support. Sounds like an idea. <laughs> Offensive wars minus 20. So you get a 50 swing for whether you're offensive or defensive. Fair enough. <laughs> British Parliament debates. Trying to undo this. Hang on. Norway. I'm sure Germany went to war with you. Germany hasn't bothered to go through. Well, that's interesting. And Leningrad's still holding out pretty strongly. A little encirclement there. This turnaround's going to be really rough on the Germans. Zhupeng! <coughs> oh, everyone's getting wounded. Alright, so with this done, we can now start thinking about getting some planes. We need strap bombers to drop the nukes. And then we're going to need the best fighters we can to get the air superiority to drop the nukes. <laughs> now, does taking any of this count towards Japan? It's on 99, so apparently. It's a little bit of Korea that we've taken. And what's our percentage here now? 25. Alright, slowly sneaking up. UK, yeah, call kind of add up, I guess. And Manchukuo's capitulation will be nice. Sunkyang isn't worth anything, so it's just taken random provinces now. <laughs> yeah, it's getting worse. Did want to start building guys up. Particularly, let's actually sort this out. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then go anywhere, don't really care. They need to join the one here that I can't click on. That one. Alright, then we need one. To reinforce them. We need one. To reinforce them. Alright, upgrades last. And supplies, not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Let's just get everyone to get started as soon as they arrive. There are some empty spots up there, so we should be able to do this pretty quickly. Haven't even bothered with the airbase in North Sucking in. Kiang, right next to Vladivostok. Alright, at least from the Raj. 80 for one convoy. That sounds reasonable. And they're not covering everything in there. Alright, um, I guess that's the other thing we need to train up again. What are we missing? Six. In Black Army. We didn't lose too many of them, surprisingly. I thought we'd lose like at least half of them. <coughs> Alright, still getting insufficient. Hey, he's capitulated. Get some motorized. <laughs> Get some bulldozer tanks. And recon 4 is done. So let's work on our fighters from 1933. Um, that was him capitulating there. So, while we've got these guys cut off, we really need to push straight in on them. 
Oh, they've got no supply. <coughs> Pardon me. And then we need the guys to run through there as well. So that includes you guys. Get in there. Get behind, take some ports. Oh god. They even get up there. Um it's only two provinces, I guess. Alright. They can handle it. If Russia capitulate now, at least we'll be holding the line. So Japanese won't be able to walk past it. Let the line probably break. Yeah, it's looking a little nasty. That river crossing is just a nightmare. So if we can come down here and then roll up this line here, that would be a help. Definitely need to do what we can to these. But look what this push has done. Yeah, needs to build up a little more before we actually did this. You know what, let's keep it going for now because I need to get into that main trick one, man. Which they are starting to hold properly again. But not over here apparently. Good. Anywhere we can break through empty land. Stop going over there. And there's nothing there. Into some Siberian mountains. Green supply up here. How about just actually walk in here and get your job done? <laughs> Alright. And we've separated them. So, take them out. Take them out. Cut this guy off. Alright, got that. This guy needs to get around to Vladivostok, which he already is. <coughs> Goes back to the Soviets automatically, but then your supply is up there. If we could push through the center here, we'd have it. Oh, it's not looking good. Um, it's got to get these guys separated from them. Alright, now we've pushed them through. Took the river. This lot. I don't know what they need to be doing. Or, more likely, they're standing in the green zone because they're not allowed to move. Alright, the Red Army. It'll take a while to get there. These guys are the closest, so we'll give them the force attack. Yeah, looks like he's all good to steal this. Oi, before he walks over. Get behind, try to get to Pyongyang. Won't work, but um, come around here. They're getting supplies through Pazan. Yeah, that's fair enough. What's he actually got in here? Nothing. Okay. Your thing. We hit the point that we need to reconfigure all these soon as well. They are all busy for now though. Alright, we've taken this chunk, so these guys will take a couple of months to get out again. Just turn on their strategic redeployment. This is still moving down, they're still moving in, perfect. <laughs> Alright, just a matter of time. Much like the Soviets. Maybe more on the south than they are on the north. Hmm. Yeah, we are a major power. So even if the Soviets capitulate, that war won't be invalidated. That would be super annoying. Alright, the <coughs> political advisor Kang Sheng looks useless. Gain stability would be nice. Maximum command power would be good. Daily command power gain multiplier. 
And that's all just about volunteers. Remove Red Army Weakened. I think that is one that we do have. No, we have corruption and ineffective bureaucracy. Alright, so we finished doing them. Artillery, we nearly really need to get up to the three on them. And if we can actually... Yeah, you know what we need to do. We didn't need more of these. But they are nearly done now. Uh, let's take this to 30. And then we're going to need ridiculous amounts of artillery. Mm. Yep. So we need to throw artillery into these actual armies. Not just the support artillery. Tell me you're still moving. Jesus, hurry up. How slow these guys can be. They're standing in a red zone. They don't want to actually move out of it. Alright, this is getting nice and wide. I should like to run through the city, take out his port. You know what? So maybe we should add light tanks. Or at least motorized. Alright, they won't be able to do much there now. Got them by the balls. In the southern end we're looking okay. <laughs> Counterattack on there would be easy. So let's do it. Go take this port. And there's just this and that. Alright, so Japanese have three ports left for us to take. And this guy looks like he might be quite happy to go and do that. And we don't even have to take the port, we just have to get up there. But, after that we'll go do the rest of it. Yeah, we've moved up to 26, so we are doing most of the work here. Even though the Soviets are losing <coughs> ridiculous numbers of men. We've actually got a lot more fielded manpower than them now as well. Although, that is counting the Allies. German-American War. Not letting us switch out to the other one. Whoever gets there first. Cut them off. So it's coming to do it already. <coughs> so slow getting this done. So I hate invading Soviets. Especially as Japan. Japanese invasion and Soviet Union is so freaking slow. Alright. Well. This bit would be quicker than they make it look. Let's get one of these guys through here. These guys over here. That's all sorted. We've already actually cut them off. Keep moving through there. Not long left there. So, we take a short break here, and when we come back, we will definitely take Korea and Manchuria off Japan and see what happens with their capitulation, since it's a bit bigger war than uh, just China and Japan. Thanks for watching. See you soon.